Ah, uh, what's up everybody? This is Dog, and we are gonna do a little fishing video here at Oldberg. I heard from Stockage88 on one of our last YouTube videos that the tench were doing alright here on Oldberg. So we're going down to the south bridge down here and we're gonna try it out. It's 728 in the morning so we'll probably get our lines in hopefully by about 8. Maybe not ideal. We might could have time this a little better in terms of getting them in there a little quicker but we'll just see how it goes see how it is uh, see how it's looking in terms of uh, bite frequency on the tench we are using cheese for bait and a custom ground bait as uh, I don't believe we had leveled up our ground bait enough to be able to straight up make tench bait uh, tench ground bait on this account so, but let's give it a try um, and uh, usually it's just right down here. Let's see how it does. I will show you the differences in our, um, our three lines here momentarily. We do have some differences and uh, let's see if we can catch anything. Thankfully, we are getting them in before the morning gets too late. As Tinch, as you know, likely know, can be very streaky, and sometimes early morning is the best time. So, on our first line and our second line, you're going to see the 6.4 liter. We're using a large one hook on this line with cheese. We're using this Tinch, alternate Tinch bait, uh, ground bait, which has feed, corn, bloodworm, and sunflower in it. And there's the rest of our line. Sounds like something is on our smaller line here. And I will show you this one momentarily. Oh, that's something nice. Let's, uh, if it's a tench, it'll calm down. If it's a grass carp, it won't. But it uh, looks like it is calming down. So, now is that stuck on that log? Is that why we're, is that why we're having such a hard time? It looks like it is. It looks like it was stuck on that log. I think we would have been able to get it in a little faster. So that's a nice little tinch there. That's good. And we may not have to have it as close down this side. They may be biting in this whole area. Um, all right, second line. Let's look at that real quick. Second line also has that same ground bait. All three of them do. This one is also 6.4 liter, so we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, one difference, this one's a little smaller hook. This one's size six instead of the large one hook. And then finally, this one, our third line that we just caught one on, has a 10 hook, which sometimes for tench, honestly, you don't need that big of a hook. So 10's pretty small, but um, we've got the smaller leader on there and the smaller hook. That actually may work better. We will see. Or it may not be any difference at all. And some of it will depend on how much is the grass carp biting right now. Hopefully not at all. So, so far, pretty good. Pretty good start so far. A couple of keeper tinch. And that is what we're looking for. So, sorry, it's been a while since I've made a video. All right, now all three lines have performed. This is great. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, just a lot of different games have been coming out and uh, focusing a little more on the stream than... Uh, honestly than making YouTube cha uh, channel videos. Um, I do want to keep going with this um, and since it is summertime now um, there will be some weeks in the summer where I'll be gone and not available at all but then there also will be times that uh, I'll have more time things my work schedule especially does tend to calm down in the summer so hopefully we can get back onto a regular schedule um, there have been some times that I've almost made uh, Russian fishing four videos but I just haven't been as connected recently with how things are going and so some of it will depend on how much I play this game and have a sense of of what's biting where I have a feeling that's a grass carp, and so that may just be a lost cause, to be honest. 
I don't know that I'll have the patience to, in fact, we may get spooled on that one. It's pulling pretty hard, but that's okay. If we get spooled, we'll just fish with two, two for a little while. <laughs> I don't think I have another, another feeder. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, it's still running. It just feels like this is a grass carp to me. I guess there's always that chance it's a really nice trophy tench that's gone crazy, but it seems unlikely, right? If we're going to start making progress on this, I'll try to not put it down again. If it starts running again like crazy, then I'll just put it down and take our chances. So, but one thing I have thought about doing is, and we'll see, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm definitely going to do this, but I've thought about kind of retiring this account for a while. And when I do make Russian fishing videos, just focusing on my main account or, or my main or alt account, I've got two main accounts basically, and just kind of focusing on them a little more. Um, I feel like we've, I mean, we're level 18 on this account. We've definitely gone through the whole leveling up process to the point in which we're at quarry. And really what makes sense is to start spin fishing, trolling. But I didn't really want to get into all that on this account. Um, that's something I would rather focus more on on my main account. If we're going to do videos on trolling at quarry or, you know, doing different spin fishing spots. Um, I'd rather just continue to make progress on my main account with all that. So I don't know, but there's something to be said about the first 18 levels for me that are just especially fun in this game. So you never know if some time goes by, we might come back and, and do another one. Just, you know, as things change, it never hurts to, to re look at, um, at leveling. I mean, even now there's new gear out, um, there's those combo things you can buy that come with basically your whole setup of bait, rod, reel, everything, you know, to get beginners started. So um, we may come back to either this account or another level one account at some point, but I don't be surprised if you don't see too much of this account moving forward, but I, I will still make the videos. It'll just be coming from my main account, I think. Again, not 100% sure on that. This is my Steam account, so it may be that since this is the only account that's attached to Steam, I decide I do actually want to level this account up as well. Um, I just don't know. All right. That looks like a grass carp, right? Not a giant tench. Actually, wow, folks. I'm glad we were patient with that. <laughs> All that and it was a 2.8 tench. Yikes. I don't want to see that uh, trophy tench, at least not on this line. Holy cow. As long as that thing fought for and didn't get tired, I just uh, am surprised. So anyway, the more I think about it with this being my Steam account, I suspect you will see more of this account. I just don't know what that looks like, so we'll, we'll see. But uh, again, thanks to Stockage88 for pointing me to this spot and uh, letting me know that it was a good spot. I concur. It seems like right now the tench are doing great. I mean, even if they die off now as it's getting a little warmer towards midday, uh, this morning session would be worth it to uh, come sit in this spot and catch some tench. I did notice some people on the 
RF4 forum, we're talking about comboing tinch and then also um, going for, for pike in the same location, I think. So, um, and, and actually, I didn't look closely at the, per, at the post. It, it, it was, I was just noticing that other people were talking about the tinch down here. Um, but, but the one that I saw talked about you know going for pike as well i assume they meant in the same location maybe they just meant at it in a different spot but while they were waiting on the tench to pick back up during different parts of the day now we have seen tench spots that have stayed fairly active throughout the day and even occasionally through the night some but that's pretty unusual they have to be really on fire to um and and really that's been more in the past i haven't seen that much recently i don't think trying to not make this video overly long uh, for a couple of reasons one um, I suspect that as this as we move through the day here it's gonna be a lot lower bite rate so it might not be super exciting and two on a completely non RF4 related note uh, they're running a classic Wow uh, stress test in about 30 minutes that I'd like to be a part of so um, that would give me time possibly to go ahead and get this video uploaded before I stream the stress test a little bit. If you want to stop by the stream, I have um, I've tried to fish about once a week or so on RF4. I haven't always made that goal. Um, there has just been a lot of, a lot of other stuff we've been getting into, uh, trying to play some different MMOs, uh, also playing Pillars of Eternity 2, really just started getting into that one, so if you have any interest in that, we'll likely be streaming that a good bit, um, and there's always new stuff coming out, some, some of which we will check out on the channel, so, um, please feel free to come by the the stream, which is if you just search MDog Gaming, uh, you'll find my channel on Twitch. On a side note, and again, we're probably not going to do this on, on, at least on this account, uh, I don't think, right, you know, anytime soon, but uh, supposedly at other folks have been talking about Corey being pretty nice lately, although I think the burbot have been from the island, and then people have been doing a lot of spin fishing during the day, uh, both trolling and, and casting and, and having a lot of good success lately.
nine markers uh, over the course of about 10 minutes in game. Maybe we can make that 10 markers. It has slowed down dramatically as it's gotten a little later. You definitely want to hit this spot early and you want to hit this spot late, I would assume, um, once it starts to cool off again. It's probably going to be your best scenario, best, uh, best case scenario for getting good bites. Uh, so, you know, that being said, probably we'll catch a few during the hot parts of the day. So you could continue to go for them or, um, you know, once it hits about noon or one o'clock, spend a few hours just catching normal stuff off that bridge. That bridge is always hot. It's, I mean, in terms of uh, catching gibbles and crucian and roach and, uh, you know, sometimes grass carp and there's always something going on there. But it seems like the tench are biting really nice there and the tench for old berg is a good fish to go for to target for experience and for silver. So we'll go check the cafe real quick and also just sell our tench and see how much we made in a very short amount of time. And as you saw, we got that the largest tench of the day was on that size 10 hook. I, I really think um, it's worth experimenting further, but I suspect that using 8 to 10 size hooks is going to be just as good as anything in terms of averaging uh, the right, you know, the best size possible of those tench. I'm not sure about the leader size. The other difference was that, you know, the smaller leader was on that third line. Uh, but I would think you would be fine with the 6.4 liter. But again, more testing would be helpful to, to determine that, see if we can get zeroed in on trying to get a trophy down there. So no tench orders. So we'll just see straight up how much do we get for selling these fish. Looks like 51 silver. It's pretty good for a short amount of time. And that really big one goes for almost 15 silver. So really nice. Really nice. I back up over 200 silver. And, uh, and doing good. So if we do continue on the account, obviously harvesting baits, we need to have that up to 50%. Making ground bait, we eventually want to level that as well. Not as worried about gear right now. More, in, more concerned about leveling up those, those two statistics. Spending money to harvest baits and spending money to make ground bait as we fish. Uh, I would prioritize the baits though for sure because you want to get up to 50%. And then as you make fish pieces, that will continue to level that for you for quite a while, up to way past 60%. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again to Stoggage88 for the suggestion. And uh, we'll try to get back into to a regular routine of making some of these videos. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.